It's been about seven weeks since the storm. The station's looking totally different. Uh, we have a lot of field cleanup that's been accomplished for pastures, um, row crop. Um, if I had to estimate, I would say we're about 150 acres that we've been over. Um, we have a lot more to go. There's been a lot of demolition work done. We have probably four to five structures on this side of the road of the highway gone. Um, several more across the highway that include the greenhouse complex, the tobacco complex is gone. We have storage units, equipment sheds that have been cleaned up and now um, are more of a memory than, than a debris field. The main building that we were also proud of, it's just about cleared off. Everything has been demoed, it's down. The contractor has sorted it into piles and now they're focusing on just hauling off the debris. And so we've made a lot of headway. Um, we have a lot more to go. We focused a lot in the last two weeks on where we go from here. And so we've spent a ton of time uh, looking at office complexes, trailer complexes, how we're gonna move forward in <clears throat> temporary facilities that last for two or more years. We also learned this week that likely some of the laboratory work that's, that many of us rely on will be probably down for a year or better. And so I think we all have had a very emotional response to learning that our careers are put on pause for a year. And again, it's not a selfish concern. It it's really goes back to we're not going to be serving our clientele and that hurts us. That's what we do. That's what we're here for. And so, oh, I think we're going to be behind a year or better on some of our activities. Some of our field days might not occur just because we can't. Um, we're going to do the very best we can to serve everybody, but we almost need time to grieve.